my name is Glory and my little host here, his name is King. When I stop, you continue. <laughs> okay guys, let's just go straight to the point. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you all things nobody will tell you about pregnancy, okay? If you have been pregnant, <clears throat> you can relate, right? You can actually leave your contributions, add some things in the comment section so that those who have not been pregnant before can actually read. And if not been pregnant before, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what you should expect <laughs> because pregnancy is not all about what you see on social media, most especially Instagram, okay? <sighs> okay, before I continue, pregnancy differ from women, okay? Everyone is different. Some women don't feel what other women feel, okay? When you're pregnant, you notice you've missed your period. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Number one, you will notice your increase in pain, increase in urination. You'll be peeing frequently, often, every minute. <laughs> You want to pee going from one bathroom going from bathroom to the sitting room from bathroom to the bedroom you know when you go out you start looking for um CR comfort room where you can ease yourself okay you'll be like I just peed now why am I feeling like peeing that is a symptom of pregnancy um I know sometimes it's tiring going to the bathroom but men you have to be used to it you have to be going out to empty your bladder be bladder so you don't want to weaken your bladder you don't want to um infect your bladder okay so anytime you feel the urge to pee you go and piss it out okay number two morning sickness some pregnant women when they are pregnant they they vomit spit out saliva okay why some they don't when i was pregnant my first pregnancy I wasn't spitting out saliva everywhere. I did not vomit. But in this second pregnancy, guys, I had morning sickness, okay? I was vomiting, okay? But not all the time. Just like, um, I think I vomited. I vomited three, three or four times, okay? I did not spit. But some women, they spit. They have, they have a container where they pour saliva. Me, I don't want to stay around those kind of women because I will feel like puking, like, <laughs> Okay, please be nice to a pregnant woman because they are seeing a lot. Number three, guys, pimples, acne. Some women, when they are pregnant, they have pimples all over their faces, their neck, their back, you know? Some they don't have. My first pregnancy, I never had pimples. My first pregnancy, I was looking so beautiful, so cute, you know. But in this one, I had um, pimples, black pores. But after the delivery of the baby, it disappeared. I still have some black spots on my back, okay. All these things are due to hormonal imbalances, hormonal changes. For some women, they have big nose. You see this nose? It will be twice or three three times even though you are not posting picture on social media while you were pregnant some people will notice due to your big nose some people also uh, they have swollen legs when they are pregnant number four guys food cravings most women when they are pregnant they start craving for food when i was pregnant i was craving for the food that wasn't even here in fact my husband got tired i have to beg someone that traveled to nigeria to bring it for me guess what i was craving for Abolo, mo. my first pregnancy i was craving for unzu my mother-in-law have to send me unzu all the way from nigeria whole big bag of unzu i finished it <laughs> and another thing is that you'll be feeling like i'm um, licking dust you know you'll be craving for some Things that are not <laughs> even relevant. That craving is anything you see somebody eating, you'll be begging. Please give me, let me eat. Please give me. You have long throat. You will see somebody eating something, you want to eat it. Oh, you want to eat that. When they get it for you, sometimes you might lose interest in eating it. Okay? So, food cravings. Number five, guys. Um, food aversion. Sometimes when you when you perceive some smell of some food, you feel like puking or it turns your 
your tummy you don't want to perceive that um food because you don't like it right so that is food abortion because you don't like the taste the the, the, the smell or the odor changes your your mood everything about you changes Number six, guys, as your tummy is getting bigger, your body is changing, okay, you'll be feeling so you will be feeling back pain. That is why you need lots of pillow. Men, go buy lots of pillows, keep around, okay? Take care of yourself, pamper yourself, okay? Hmm. Because pregnancy is not <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness, God bless all mothers. So you need pillows to support your back. Sometimes some women they cannot bear the back pain. They go for massage, and um, they go for um, acupuncture. You know, they go for yoga to help them release the back pain. Okay, but if you are going to go for massage, make sure you let your doctor know so that the you don't do you don't do massage and um, trigger because massage can trigger contractions. Okay. So make sure you seek the advice of your gynecologist. So at this point, your body is bigger. You start your old clothes will not be fitting. In. <laughs> your old clothes will not be fitting into you again. Okay, you start shopping for um, maternity wears. All those jeans that has um, um, baby pouch pullover. I don't know how to call it. I got mine from H H and M. Okay. But you don't have to buy much clothes because um, you don't have to spend much money in maternity clothes. But if you have money, you can go ahead, okay? My husband is already big and he has big t-shirts. Those were the ones I was wearing. And besides, it was locked down. So I did not have much places to go. So I was busy wearing his um, big, big t-shirts and big, big shorts. Except if I want to go out, all those trousers I bought that has baby pouch. I just put it up okay those are the things i wear and it makes me comfortable so you have to be um cautious about the clothes you're wearing at this point so that you don't wear tight clothes tight clothes can make you feel uncomfortable yes to make you feel un uncomfortable and it's not good so you need something that you wear that will make you free okay number seven fatigue guys at this stage you'll be feeling tired man You'll be feeling tired okay so that is where you you need people will be pampering you sometimes they'll be getting you things but you don't just have to be lazy okay me during my time i was lazy guys let me tell you the truth i was lazy very very lazy my husband has to drag me out like come obi we need to go and do exercise we need to go take a walk guys when you're pregnant try as much as possible to do some exercise my exercise was dancing i was dancing in my living room and sometimes i go to the gym in my apartment downstairs okay i only go there when my husband drags me to go because this pregnancy made me lazy unlike my first pregnancy i wasn't lazy i was going to school climbing first and um, fifth floors attending lectures you know it was fun number eight guys constipation at this stage you'll be having constipation when you're pregnant you'll be having constipation so because due to um iron intake because the doctors will recommend medications for you right you'll be taking some iron pills you know just because you have your it's your blood that is um, forming the baby all those calcium they cause constipation okay so at this point you have to be drinking lots of water lots of water mind what you eat number nine guys hemorrhoids men some women um experience hemorrhoids like me i really experienced hemorrhoids when i was pregnant and when i'm constipating i feel like my hemorrhoids will fall off my god it was so painful at a point i couldn't sit down i just knee on the floor on a soft on mats on the floor with my knees and that is it man i cried so i have to tell the my doctor and my husband my husband got me um corticosteroid and i was um cleaning my hemorrhoids with warm water and then i rub corticosteroids there and i feel better number 10 guys farting 
Men, any moment you'll be fighting, poo, 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 poo. Sometimes if your partner look at you fighting, fighting, you'll be like, oh, it's my baby that is fighting. It's our baby that is fighting. <laughs> This baby is sleepy. He doesn't want to sleep. He just wants mama to carry him. No problem. He will be hearing farting, farting. <laughs> um, you'll be fighting, so it's normal. Do not be like ah. So when you notice you're farting, maybe you have so many gases in your stomach due to bloatness. By level bloatedness, you feel bloated. So many gases in your stomach. So the doctor will give you some chewing um pills, like um what do they call it? Mentos or men. I've forgotten the name. You'll be chewing it and some um, stool softener. When you drink the medicine, it will help to soften your stools, okay? Number 12, guys, you will notice your nose strings are blocked. You find it difficult to breathe, like difficulty of breathing, okay? It's normal. So when you notice this, get pillow, lean forward, you know, get up. Do not, if you lay like this for so long, at least get up forward. A top neck position like you're laying down like this to help you to breathe okay sometimes go out get fresh air get vitamin D at this stage your vitamin D will be low so go outside get sunshine because my vitamin D was low but they have to give me um, some vitamin D tablets number 13 guys at this stage your stomach is getting bigger you will notice you're having stretch marks in your stomach in your laps or in your thighs those stretch marks on your stomach are called um, linear striae. And then the one, that black one that comes from your, your abdomen down, it's called linear nigra. So it's normal. Do not freak out. Do not um, worry about it. Some women, they actually have something they rub on their tummy while they are pregnant to reduce um, stretch marks. It works for some women, it doesn't work for some women. It doesn't work for me, okay? Women, so do not freak out. Embrace it. Yes, exactly, baby. And another thing you'll notice is your nipples. Your nipples will get darker, okay? It's normal, do not freak out. And your breasts will get fuller, bigger, you know? It's normal. But think, guys, you'll be having mood swing, go. Ha. You will be having mood swing so it's normal sometimes you look for trouble you'll be like after us looking for trouble you're gonna calm down and then ask yourself did i just look for trouble am i a troublemaker you'll be asking your partner are you a troublemaker so if you are looking for trouble <laughs> it's normal i looked for trouble i really looked for trouble you know any small thing um, um upset me sometimes you start crying those are mood swings. Just you remember something and you begin to cry. It's normal. It's okay, okay? But do not cry too much. Hey, baby, what's up? Do not cry too much. And when you notice your baby is kicking, talk to your baby. Speak to him as if he's already out, okay? Sorry, I did not, I did not say it accordingly like first trimester, second trimester, third trimester. See, vlogging with this boy is not easy. I tend to forget everything I want to say, but because of well, I already experienced it, and thank God I have to write it down so that I don't miss anyone. You see him, this boy, this boy. Ah. Fifteen guys, um, as you are approaching the stage of delivering your baby, just calm down, pray to God, everything will be okay. You will have your baby. Your baby will be alive, you'll be alive. But well, how you know you're in labor is because you will feel intense pain around your waist non stop. Okay, it's very, very painful, hmm. as if you are going to poo. It's very, very, very painful. So, the first and your your stomach also, you will feel like your stomach is tight and then it will relax. So, that first one you will feel, and then you think it's um, the baby is coming out, it's Braxton Hicks contraction okay it's false labor so when you go to the hospital <laughs> they'll check you and they notice you're not in labor your cervix is still closed they'll send you home that is false labor so because real labor doesn't stop in fact <laughs> when you when you are real labor i don't know how i'm going to explain to you guys it's very very real it's so painful my 
God, in fact, when you are in real labor, you start appreciating your mom the more. You ask your mom, you call your mom and ask her to forgive you for being a stubborn child, and you will tell her, you will, in fact, you would want to buy her gifts because now you've experienced what she has gone through. So, real labor is really painful. So, when you are in real labor, you will know pains around your waist, non stop, and stomach. So that is it guys, at this stage, um, when you get to the hospital, is it that you will deliver through cesarean section or through normal delivery, okay? In my next video guys, I'm going to share with you guys what they don't tell you about postpartum because this stage you've had your baby, and uh -huh, I'm going to share with you guys about postpartum any question you can ask me uh -huh. guys I noticed when I was pregnant my baby was having um, hiccups in the stomach I freaked out man I really really freaked out I was making research because I love to make research I was making inquiries and then some said it's not normal some said it's normal some doctors I asked said it's not normal some said it's normal and I was reading I saw someone said her baby died because she was hiccuping guys I got scared so when you notice your baby is having hiccup do not freak out it's normal it's because maybe when you eat okay this <laughs> they start to hiccup like oh I've gotten it it's part of movement okay hiccup is part of movement some women they feel it some they don't feel it I did not feel it in my first pregnancy but I felt it in this one and it's got me kind of Okay. okay thank you so much guys for watching i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye